So in this video, I'm going to quickly cover how to use Pickle. Um, I won't go into the BDD. Uh, that will be in the next video. So this is very much just going to be getting going with the tool. Everything in the README, but maybe some people like a video. So I won't uh, go into detail here. I'm just going to say, you know, this is how you get going. Um, to begin with, uh, Pickles is inspired by BHAT. After using BHAT for a number of years, I then started using it on a team. Uh, and I'm really getting, I really like Gherkin. So I really wanted now to take advantage of um, what Taylor Otwell released or announced with Dusk. And it really changed the playing field. BHAT could not compare with the integration Dusk had with Laravel. Even using the library I referenced here, um, we were just missing some of the nice integration and the speed. I mean, it's just fast. So what I will cover here is how to use Pickle for files written in Gherkin, using Gherkin files to drive your feature then browser tests, inside out testing, how, to, how and why to apply BBD. Now I'm not going to go this far, I'm just going to show you how to get going. Later on I'm going to go into these. So part one, just getting going quickly with Pickle. Using Pickle, for those who want to just get started, this is for you. All right, so we're installed. We're, we've installed Pickle. Um, there's some. The README is good. It shows how to install the Composer Global. Um, this just helps with the global install. And then once you do that, you can just run this command, and you're ready to go. You now have Pickle, and from anywhere uh, in the command line, you can run Pickle. Uh, yes, there's another PHP tool like that. I'll deal with it later. Um, but there you go. Um, so yeah, so now what? Let's get going with your application running. Um, now, it doesn't have to be running Dusk. It's really just PHP unit. Uh, I'm going to just focus on Dusk. I might come back later and, and show how to use this uh, in, in applications that don't have Dusk. So let's start with a domain test or an integration test or an inside test where we're focusing on the inside of your um, uh, code. We're going to look at the profile feature. So now you sat there with a product owner or just uh, working with yourself to think about a teammate too, how to write uh, a test. So let's get rid of this for a moment. I'm come, come, <clears throat> sorry, I'm going to come back to that in a moment. And it's time to edit this file um, or edit a profile, add that feature. So you wrote out a scenario. Um, this is a good example of a, a bad uh, uh, feature because I didn't write it with enough business in mind. but. Again, more uh, detailed examples of BDD I'll do in my next video, um, but I just want to get you going. So here's this feature file, it lives in test features, and you're ready to go. You're ready to actually start coding. Everybody's happy with uh, what you wrote there. And you're just going to say pickle initialize, and you're going to point it to that file. And it knows now that you are not saying anything, so it's going to default to an integration or, or feature and it made the test for you and you just can now go in here and edit this file. Now, just a unit test, everything we're used to. One different thing I'm doing here is to encapsulate the flow that I'm more used to with BHAT, where I'm working down, I'm working scenario, sorry, step after step. Um, so we, we see here the steps and, and so by the time I'm done, this will be passing. Um, but to begin with, it's just a bunch of incompletes. So now, at this point, I would get to work. Um, I won't go into the details of, of um, uh, how to write this in the most ideal way. Um, so uh, I just don't want to get bogged down that this. The next video will. But that's it. Just get these passing. You know, use your database if you need to. Nothing uh, out of the ordinary. You know, make your users and your factories and, and just make these pass. So in this one, I'm giving them authenticated in the system. You know, that's just a simple check. Um, you could just say uh, user equals factory app user class create this be. And in this case, like, you know, maybe this was overkill. Maybe you shouldn't have done this. But, you know, you could just say, um, uh, and then I could just say pickle run that file. Now, uh, I'm going to show you something in a moment, not using pickle, just so you can see how simple this really is. But this way I don't have to think about where that file is, I can just run it from there. And um, so, uh, and you know, I just didn't, true wasn't a great idea. 
Uh, so I, I don't know what the best way to approach that. Uh, we'll just do that for a moment. So now we're green, green. And of course, red, green refactor. But what, you know, this isn't a valuable test. I, I would come back in and start to do things um, that I'll show in the next video how I work it into a more of a, a code level. But you can start seeing how you can get working, how you could um, start making this pass. Now there's still incompletes here. So PHP unit can be told to, to fail on an incomplete. Uh, in this case it's not, um, but that's just a setting. Um, and again, just PHP unit can run this as well. Uh, it lives in that feature folder uh, and it lives there. Uh, and so it could just be run. So, um, sorry. And, and there we go. My Mac had a different version of PHP unit. So uh, it's incomplete, okay, but incomplete. And you could add switches to make it fail. Um, but more importantly, you can now work down. Now I want to make this pass and this pass, and before long, they're all passing. Now let's make believe you're done with that, and now you're ready to um, get into the, the browser test. And so again, just pickle, uh, initialize. Uh, and we're going to say test, same thing, but now we're just going to say uh, context equals browser. And now it made a file for you in the browser area. And just once again, here's your scenario, uh, as you see in here, let's split this open and look in here. We see our scenario uh, and we prefix it with test so PHP ha unit is happy to run it. And, um, and now we dig in. We're like, okay, we have browser, we have state. Uh, it's incomplete, but I could do something. I could visit, I could authenticate. Um, uh, you know, whatever it takes to step through this step by step by step, knowing that uh, I could visit and then in the next method I could assert or I could visit and assert. Like you could do anything you want in any of these. The state is saved as you go down. Uh, again, I'll go into detail. I just don't want to train on BDD right now. I just want to show you how to get going with uh, Pickle. And, uh, and so right now, again, same thing, Pickle run, uh, test features profile. And again, uh, unlike before, I mean, we, we want to say, well, you know, I want to run the browser one. Oops. And then it would be good to type it out. And it pops up in the browser. It's incomplete. Technically, it's not ideal that it's passed. I would like to pass in that incomplete argument uh, and make it fail. But um, in, in, in just to be clear, like I could just run Dusk as well. So I could say test uh, browser profile and Dusk will run. Um, you know, you have to know where it is, whatever. This is all great. I just was enjoying that I could run it from here, both test. Because that's the mindset is that this is driving your inside code. I'll cover that later. And then finally, when you're done, you plug the pieces in to prove the browser's working with the outside code. One test, uh, one um, feature file driving both test and both language. And, and you'll see too, as I do the demo, this will start becoming unit test. It helps you think into that level. Uh, I'm going to work out a, a, a nice example, and, and, and I'll come back later and, and do it here. Um, but that's it. Now, uh, one more thing is when you're working on this stuff, you, you, you add things to a test. So here we co come back, and, and we now need to um, say, hey, now we need to build a view area. And uh, those don't exist. Uh, they're not in this code anywhere. So what I'm going to do is say, okay, pickle um, append now, um, test features profile. In what we get now is the extra stuff, the scenario, the methods. And it's smart enough to say, hey, this method already exists. I'm not going to do it again. Um, but what it can't do for you is update this area. It can't say, hey, you have this other scenario. You added this other one. I'm going to put it in here in the right order. You do have to fix that. But it does help you with all the other methods. Uh, and again, same thing. I could say context equals browser. And off to work you go on the browser area. It now has more scenarios and steps. Uh, so I'll come back to all of this in detail. Just This will go with the readme to help uh, get you going.